Hi, welcome to Django series. In this video, I am going to explain most important concept under Django that is a model or you can say database processing. So first you need to understand what is a model. A model is a single definitive source of information about the data. It contains essential field and behaviors of data that we are storing. Generally, each model mapped to a single database field. Use of a model class. It is a class which represents a table in a database. Each model in a Python class that subclass consists of Django DB models dot model. Each attribute of a model represents a database field. By default, Django uses SQLite database. We can use other databases like MySQL, Oracle, SQLite, and SQL. Next, moving ahead, we can create our own model. To create a model, we can use a model.py file which is under the application folder that is required to create our own model class. This own model class will inherit Python model class like class, class name, models.model. Under that, we can write field name, models.field type. And then you need to mention the size of that data level. Let us take one example to understand this model class. Let it be class coder, models.model. Coder ID is an attribute is equal to models.integer field. So coder ID I want as an integer field. So this is the data type that I mentioned for this coder ID. Coder name, models character field, max length. Here we need to specify a precise size for this coder name. So coder name is an attribute and character field is a data type for this attribute. Similarly, next attribute is email. Coder email, models email field, max length is 100. Similarly, coder email is an attribute, email field is a data type of that attribute and so on. So these are nothing but the attribute under the table and for that attribute, these are the mentioned data type that we are going to use while processing the data. If you not mention a primary key in any of this column, so it will automatically create a new column name ID and the data type integer with primary key and auto increment has been assigned to that field. Moving ahead, while writing the model, we have to follow certain rules. The rules are the field name cannot be used Python reserve word. If you use a Python reserve keyword, then it gives a syntax error. The next rule is a field name cannot contain more than one underscore in a row. Due to that, Django query lookup syntax work. A field name cannot end with the underscore. Make sure that this rule need to be remembered while creating the model. Next is how to use that model. So once we write the model, then we need to tell Django we are going to use this model. So then we need to write a command python manage.py make migration. So make migration command will convert the model to the query. So whatever the model we write under the model.py, it will get converted into the queries. So it will create a new migration based on the changes we have made to our model. Then we need to type a command python manage.py migrate. Migrations are Django way of propagating changes that you make to your model and then it will inform to your database schema. Moving ahead, there are different model operations. So one by one we'll discuss this model operation. So first of all, create model. Create model is a function which consists of name field, option, basis, are there the parameter. So this create model, create a new model in the project history and corresponding table in the database to match it. Name is the first attribute under the create model. It's a model name and it would be written in the model.py file. Option is an optional dictionary of values from model meta class. The bases are nothing but an optional list of other classes to have this model inherited from. We'll discuss the detailing of this parameter at the time of implementation. The next model operation is delete model having parameter is name. It delete the model from the project history and then the table is get deleted from the database. Next model operation is rename model. The parameter is old name, new name. It renamed the model from old name to new name. Next model operation is alter model table. So we have two parameter name and table. So it changed the model table name. So this is a brief explanation about the model. Now we'll see this through the coding. First step is to create a project. So here I created the project, project 17. Under that project, we need to create one application. So coder is the application. For that purpose, you need to go to the terminal, type the command Django admin, start project, project name. Under the project, you can create the application. So to create an application, you can type a command python manage.py startup name of the application. So coder application is get created. After that, we need to install or we can say inject this app into the Django project. So go to the project setting.py file and then modify the install app. Under the install app, some inbuilt apps are there. We need to add our customized app that is a coder. Once we do this process, then we are ready to perform the database operation. So I need to go to the application folder and first you need to open the model.by file. 
So this is the file where you can create the actual database. Yeah. First of all, we'll create a model. So to create a model, we write a class model name. So coder underscore model. And we can pass this attribute model start model. So under this model class, we can create the attribute. So first attribute is coder ID is equal to models. And then we can write the data type. So here I'm looking for integer data type for this coder ID. So integer field data type is assigned for coder ID. Next attribute is coder name. For coder name, I'm going to assign the character field type. And also I have to mention the specific length for this attribute. Suppose I'm going to mention 111 as a max length for this attribute. One more attribute here I write coder email is equal to models and under the model we have email field. So I'm going to mention the email field for this particular attribute. So these three attributes under this model. Once we define the model, we can tell the Django that we are going to use this model. For that purpose, we need to type the command python manage.py make migrations so that this command tell the Django that convert the model into the query. So one of the files get created under the coder application. So once you go to the coder application, you can find the migration folder. And under the migration folder, 001 underscore initial file is get created. This file consists of model to query. So you can find that model is get converted into query format. After that, again go back to the terminal and type the command python manage.py migrate So it will migrate all the models into our by default database that is SQLite. So one of the databases it created under this project. So after the execution, you will find that SQLite file is get created. It means that it consists of all these models are being stored into the SQL TPNet. Now this model is available under the Django project. We'll discuss all the model operation in the next video. So hope you understand how to create a model and how to inject the model in the Django. In the next video, I'm going to explain the model operation. Thanks for watching this video.